What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the Fluffy Gamer. It's another day. Today is Sunday, November 27th. It's another day. Stores closed a little early today, except for uh, Good Old Book Off. So hit up Good Old Book Off. Went to three places all together. I went to a local Goodwill that closed at 6, got there a little early. Hit up uh, the, the Reanimated Records over in La Mesa, downtown La Mesa. I spent some money in there. One item that I got, which I'll show you, it's going to be last, of course, because it's the biggest score of the day. I spent 300 bucks on one item. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I picked up a bunch of stuff today, starting with the good old Goodwill. Good old Goodwill coming through. I uh, apparently am... Uh, the guy thought I was in the military. He gave me a military discount for some reason. I didn't even ask. But uh, it should have been 15 but it became uh, $13.46. So I said, I'm already saving money. Already saving money. But, uh, yeah, I picked up one, two, three, four, five items, which should have been 15 bucks altogether. And, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But, anyways, let's get right into the finds over at the good old Goodwill. Starting with the Jack Nicholson movie. Uh, I know this just, I'm pretty sure this came out on Criterion, uh, like a year or two ago or so, but that is a copy of The Last Deal. This is just a normal DVD from, uh, looks like Century Fox, I think. I don't know, but, uh, should be able to get about 12 bucks for that plus shipping, plus shipping. It's complete in the double-sided disc. It, this is in great shape. So happy with that. Going up on a bay. If you're interested, if anybody's interested, uh, the next thing I found is another one of those family type DVDs. Normally something you would see like on TV, I'm assuming. But uh, most of those really ain't more worth much, but I still check them out anyways. The game, the cover looked interesting. Some chick playing, looks like a game of chess. Uh, movie called The Weston Game. Weston Game. Do, 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 do. She's the Weston Girls. <laughs> but yeah, they had a sticker on there. Uh, on clearance for two bucks two bucks wherever whoever donated it and wherever they bought it from but uh, this is also you know in pretty nice condition yeah beautiful and this goes for if I remember correctly I think it's selling for like 14 bucks so definitely had to pick that up you know these are all three bucks a piece this one probably could have done without but I'm a fan of Jason Jedrick uh, from uh, Iron Eagle and one of my favorite movies is The Heavenly Kid. Love that movie. So I grabbed it anyways. I probably won't watch it. it. Looks like a chick flick. But that's a movie called Hidden Places. Hidden. It's got the glare because it's brand new factory sealed. But I should be able to get about 7 8 bucks for that. I just picked it up. It was the first, first fine inside there. So I was like, you know, alright. Got my first fine. Make a couple of dollars. Uh, the next one I picked up, um, it's also brand new sealed. I didn't realize at the time, but uh, yeah, it has a slip cover, and that's uh, the Marx Brothers uh, Silver Screen Collection. I remember finding the big box at a Goodwill, and it sold for like 45 bucks in the big box. But this is now, obviously, uh, you know, a lot smaller. It's not a big box. It's all in, compressed into one DVD case, which has five films on it and it is brand new factory sealed it is sealed with the slip cover when it was brand new went for about 10 bucks which is about what it still goes for so gonna have to mark the um i don't know if i can get it the, the case you can tell is kind of wrinkled so uh yeah not the greatest case but I'm just gonna sell it as is it is brand new but i will put it in the description you know the plastic case casing is wrinkled, at least on the front side. But it's got a nice slip cover and ten bucks going up on the bay. Uh the last thing I found over at the Goodwill is the find of the day. Love this movie. Love this movie a lot. Great movie. Uh starring Corey Haim, such as like Silver Bullet, which was a great film. And um, you know, obviously The Lost Boys, great movie. But uh definitely loved watching this one on HBO back in the day. Watched it many times. And uh, that is, of course, good old Lucas, which this, surprisingly, is also factory sealed. Seems to be going for anywhere from 25 to I think he even sold for 40 bucks. So I'm, I'm expecting to get at least 
about 30 bucks plus shipping 25 for sure but i'm hoping to get 30 it is brand new factory sealed so great movie family street feature 20th century that's all i got over at the uh, goodwill today uh last place i went to i just got out of is the uh, book off good old book off uh, i found a couple things inside there i was in there for a while not really finding anything there was a few things in the tv section i thought about getting er i think season five and seven they had them for like i think it was like seven bucks brand new sealed i probably could have got seven bucks off of it probably should have grabbed it if it's still in there next time I'm in there i'll probably pick it up because there is some money to be had money to be made off of those but i ended up spending 13 dollars 47 inside there today for three dvds three dvds 1347 and uh picked up one brand new item in uh, the two dollar and fifty cent section i've never seen or heard of this movie before good old richard dreyfus in uh mercedes rule well somewhat r-u-e-h-l uh looking like it'd be a fun movie not sure what it's about but uh lost in yonkers good old richard dreyfus he looks fairly young right there looks fairly young I'm guessing I'd say 80s, maybe an 80s flick. Not sure. But anyways, um, I should be able to, I got this for $250, $250, and I should be able to squeeze out close to 10 bucks, right around 10 bucks. hopefully. Doesn't seem to be selling much, so might sit for a while. But uh, I also found a Nicolas Cage movie. Uh, never seen or heard of this before. It's from David Lynch. David Lynch is wild at heart. They had a mark for five bucks. The case, it's one of those cheapy cases, cheap plastic, you feel like you can crush it real easily. But uh, yeah, it's a Kino Lorber film. Kino Lorber paid five bucks and I should be able to get at least 15 bucks. I'm gonna put it in a brand new DVD case. So it'll be real nice. You know, the disc is in great shape and uh, I paid five bucks again. And disc is great shape. Should be able to get 15 bucks. 15 bucks, wild at heart, Nicolas Cage. Back when he was actually uh, worth some money. But uh, the find of the day over at the good old book off. They had a new shelving unit that they just pushed out. Right as I was getting ready to uh, check out. And I started scrolling through and I found something that I found several times. Cartoon show. And it had a mark for five bucks. So of course I grabbed it immediately. And that is Zoids. The battle begins. Five bucks five doll hairs for zoids these go for like 25 bucks so that was obviously a no-brainer got the insert the disc i believe does have light scratch on it. yeah there's there's light scuffs on it but i grabbed it anyways i'm gonna clean it up as good as i can i'm sure it'll play i'll probably put it in and test it make sure it works but uh yeah because of that probably just gonna list it for like 20 bucks it should sell no problem but that's all i got so it's a good old book uh so already nice nice little stack right there yeah it's gonna be a long one a longer one but uh yeah the other place that i went to today was good old reanimated records they had a bunch of new inventory inside there including vhs tapes i hit up the center stock and let them know like hey you might want to come check it out i know it's been a while since you've been over there a lot of uh vhs tapes including things Apparently produced by David Sterling, signed, and they want 150 bucks. I don't know who's gonna pay for that. Some idiot's gonna buy it. Ain't gonna be me. But uh, I did spend quite a bit of money inside that. We'll start with the, uh, the smaller items. Most of the stuff that I found in there, not really going for much. But uh, yeah, they're all five bucks each. But it looks like I can squeeze out you know, about 10 bucks, maybe a little more. Uh, but yeah, I grabbed this one. I might keep this one for myself. It's a Richard Pryor, Dudley Moore, and John Ritter film called Holy Moses. They had a mark for five dollars. I have never seen or heard of this movie before. I think I might have found one before, but the disc was like really scratched. But yeah, this one, great shape. Holy Moses, Holy Moses. Oh, and it's even got uh, Dom DeLuise. Dom DeLuise, recognize that guy. But yeah, might keep that one. Definitely want to watch that one. 
And the next one I picked up is a Peter Weller film, you know, good old Robotech, Robotech, <laughs> Robocop, uh, Leviathan, Leviathan. And I'm pretty sure I can get about 10 bucks for that one as well. Complete. This is in great shape. Great shape. Bam. Great shape. And then, it's been a while since I found this before. Found the big box set as well, but this one was, uh, they had marked for five bucks as well. Tack to the Killer Tomatoes, the original. For sure it's the original, yeah. And, uh, disc. No, uh, insert. I don't know if an insert comes with it or not. Probably did. But, yeah, disc is in great shape, and I could also get about ten bucks for that. Paid five bucks, so going up on the bay. Uh, and then I came across another one of those something weird videos. Usually a double feature. And uh, yeah, I found one. A double sweetest feature. Terror in the Midnight Sun and Invasion of the Animal People. They had a mark for $10. And I should be able to get 30 to 35 bucks. So great find right there. This is also in great shape. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty dang good. So, yeah, hoping to squeeze out 30, maybe a little bit more on that one. But the find of the day, and oh my God, I spent some money on this. I don't know anything about it, but it's a compilation of a bunch of movies. Bunch of movies. I don't know, like, what the genre is, if it's horror. I'm assuming it's horror. 32 full-length feature films. On 14 discs. And the guy looks like Harrison Ford. <laughs> Apparently, I'm guessing his the name his name's Adam Adamson. Or uh, Adam. Al Adamson. Al Adamson. I paid 300 bucks for this huge box set. Big box set. Brand new factory sealed. There's all the titles right there. There's all the titles. What made me pick it up, the last one sold used. They had it marked as new and in parentheses other. So it was an open box and it went for 500 bucks. And there's a lot of people, probably like seven or eight people that are asking seven, 800 bucks. So I see them selling used anywhere from like 300, 30, 350, like in an auction. And then buy it now for like four, four to 500 bucks. So pick this up i'm i'm hoping i'm hoping it's because it's the holidays and there's people asking seven eight hundred bucks for this item i'm hoping to probably get close to 600 bucks if not for sure 500 which means you know after ebay fees and taxes and all that stuff what i paid in uh ebay fees i should you know at least minimum make a hundred bucks off of that so this is the find of the day this big buck apparently it just came out like the day before because i ran into uh Adam the movie hunter, he was there today, and yeah, I guess he was in the store yesterday and noticed it, so yeah, you seen it already, he didn't grab it, he didn't want it, so he left it for me, so yeah, good for me, but anyways guys, that's going to do it for today, Sunday, November, I already forgot the date, 27th, yeah, 27th, that's going to do it, time for me to go and head out and do some lifting, yeah, yep, 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 going to be a lot of people coming home from this holiday weekend, so Anyways, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.